Super Nintendo villains. Uh, it's Ozzy all over again from Chrono Trigger. Ozzy's in a jam! Out of here! <laughs> Outside, yeah, there's a right armor capsule up there. In any case, let's try and get it. <sighs> I mean, it's easy for Zero to get it because he has double jump. With X, you gotta utilize the, the you know, the jump or the, the boost and jump and stuff like that. It's complicated bullshit. But in any case, all right, our first right armor capsule. That is the frog right armor. If memory serves, yes it is. All right. Oh fuck, I forgot to save. Oh well, it's not a big deal. That being said though, viewers, whew, we got about five more Mavericks to go. And I went off a sequence last time because I took out a Blast Hornet and Gravity Beetle. Bosses I normally wait until near the end of the game to take on. However, it's time to break sequence once again. Girl the times! Our next Maverick boss will be... This guy! Yes, we are taking on Neon Tiger, one of the hardest of the eight Maverick bosses. In my opinion, that is. And we're taking him on without his weapon weakness. And only one sub tank. Oof. Well, this will be interesting. Though I must say, Neon Tiger's stage is lovely. I love the, the, the jungle Amazon backdrop. Yeah, it, re it reminds me of Footman stage from Mega Man 2, but better. Better graphics, that is. Yeah, just like any other port, you can stand on these little bug, mosquito, whatever the fuck they are. <laughs> However, I think there is a bitch! Whatever. Let it go! Yeah, whoa! <laughs> I think there is another sub tank here. Off, bitch! <laughs> Parasitic bomb at Zwak. Now, move! You're in the way. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! <laughs> move, bitch! I beg your pardon. Do not like those red things. Woohoo! Second sub tank. Get to those hay. Noise. That's perfect. If memory serves, there's a heart tank in this stage. Whoa! 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 Bitch! You! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Don't like these red things. <sighs> Whatever. That being said, though. Yeah, remember these green things? Yeah, the annoying little cock blockers from X2 are back. <sighs> Move! <laughs> Not stand those things! Now, we need the tornado fang in order to open this thing. Fortunately, none of the other weapons will do it. <laughs> Viewers, you saw the I. Viewers, look, 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 look. <laughs> it literally fades through the walls like, ah! Oh! Damn. Well, yeah, I have nothing that can, whoa. Damn, the gravity well worked from all the way over there? Good on you. But yeah, I don't have the current weapons needed in order to, um, you know, get rid of those. Yoink! Move, bitch! <laughs> so I can get that health item. Yep! Ha-ha! 
Unfortunately, Neon Tiger Stage has one of the most annoying mini-bosses in the game. And no, I'm not talking about Fit and Fight. I'm talking about the giant, um, Millipede? Centipede? Magna? No, 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 no. Definitely not Magna Centipede. Not that annoying. Ah! Bitch! Yeah, he's an annoying bitch bug. Now, his only weakness, I think, is the head. Ah! Uh oh! Fucking ruined my moment! Ah! Alright, there you go. Finally got a hit in. Yeah, and watch out for the little. Uh, mosquito, or whatever the fuck those things are. Ah! Come on, bruh. Hold still! Got him! And of course, I get him right as I head to next to the door. Meaning I can't get the energy up that was right there. <sighs> great. Just fucking great. Whatever. Ugh. Uh. NANI?! What the hell?! Oh my- Wait a minute! I can use the right armor now?! Wow, that's a change! It- in the other versions of Mega Man X3, you know, the ones that aren't hacks, you can actually, well, you have to wait till you unlock the Chimera Ride Armor from Blast Hornet stage in order to even use any of them. But in the Zero Project, you can use them at will as soon as you get at least one of them. Wow! See, viewers, I'm discovering this shit because this, all oh, this is new to me too. This, you know, this shit. As many times as I've played Mega Man X3, having to deal with not being able to use the ride armors until I fucking, um... Wow, bitch! There you go. Not even being able to use them until I can, um... Unlock the Chimera from Blast Wonder Stage is fucking annoying. Ugh. I need energy! <laughs> Oh my gosh, do not tell me there's another mini-boss. Please don't be here. No! No! Uh, damn it, it's Bite. It's time for a boss fight! And it's time to die. <laughs> oh well. Round two, bitches! Do it! I have to concentrate with this fight, because Bit is t ah! Ah! He's terribly hard! Literally. <laughs> Pay attention! Ah! Almost! Jump! So that's how this fight's going to go down, huh? Now! Ah! Come on, baby! Ah! Almost! <laughs> what power. I'll concede this time, Zero, but I'll crush you next time. Out of here! Huh. Well, just like Bit, they're pretty good at escaping. Typical Super Nintendo villains. Uh, it's Ozzy all over again from Chrono Trigger. Ozzy's in the jam! Out of here! It works. That being said, 
Heart Tank Gitados Egg. That's number three, right? Three or four, I, I don't even, I don't remember. That being said, though, all right, we're at the ball skate. I need some energy because I don't have Neon's weapon weakness. I only have one sub tank full of energy, and, and it's not going to be enough against this guy. I'll be right back. All right, viewers of Mac. Now I only got enough energy to fully fill up the, um, the first sub tank. So yeah, it's pretty much going to just be. One sub tank and skill. That's all I'm gonna have at my disposal against Neon Tiger. Cause he is a dangerous fucker. And he has a Valen from X2 attack. Very fucking annoying to dodge. Oof. Well, this'll be interesting to say the least. Let's go and pay our Tiger friend a visit. Cause it's time for a boss fight. Versus Neon Tiger. Now, as you just saw right there, Neon Tiger can fucking block your fucking attacks. Look at that! It's like fighting Slash Man in Mega Man 7. I I'm like going super slow-mo compared to this guy. Ah, bitch! Do I want to waste it here? Well, I made a, I made a save state, so meh. <laughs> Luckily, as I said in the first episode, energy in your sub tanks is just like how it is in the Mega Man Zero series. It won't use up all your energy. So, unlike how it was in the X series, in which it just used up all your fucking energy, and stuff, even though you didn't really need to use it that much. Yeah, it, it, it has. The sub tanks have zero logic. Doink! Come on, bitch! Ugh. Yeah, that fucking race splasher attack of his. Fucking annoying. Ah! Uh -huh. Bitch! Uh -huh. Damn it! Ah! I think the only way to deal with him ah, is to attack when he uses the race splasher. Ah! Oh shit, I forgot about that! Yeah, he'll have an invincibility period just like Wire Sponge in X2. So watch yourself. Dangerous bitch. And I have no energy left. Ah! Damn it! Almost! Come on! Yes! Woohoo! That was close! If I wouldn't went down even a second sooner, I would have got finished. Yes, bitches, yes! Oh my gosh, that was crazy! <laughs> Only as zero, baby. Only as zero. And for defeating Neon Tiger, we get... The Race Flasher! One of my favorite crowd control abilities in the game. Yes. Sexy weapon. Sexy weapon. Oh my gosh. That was fucking crazy. And you know what's even more crazy? Let's do something even crazier. Going to another boss without their weapon weakness. Yes! It's time to get drilled. Drill me, baby! No, no. Uh, Drill me, daddy! There you go. I beg your pardon? There you go. We're going to turn a rhino stage. Huh. Hope you like construction sites with just a little bit of... What's that guy's name from Mega Man 5? You know, the rock guy? No, it, it, it wasn't rock man. Hard man? No, no. Stone man! Yeah, stone man. Yeah, a construction site with a little bit of stone man. So, there you go. <laughs> now, you see these things up here? They are fucking trolls. They'll, they'll stay above and try and uh, jump. Ugh, fail. <laughs> they'll drop those big ass boulders and shit on you. And then they'll drop down and start shooting missiles on you. Like immediately. Ugh. And those green bastards are here too! Yeah, not a sexy start to the stage. 
However, there is a heart tank over there. The problem is we don't have the ball sweeping or sweeping. <laughs> it spit on my microphone. We don't have the boss weapon needed to break that rock. Ray Splasher won't do it. And even then, we need to use the X Buster upgrade from Neon Tiger Stage. But to do that, we need to get the weapon here from, um, well, this stage, obviously. So, yeah, needless to say, <sighs> because I'm going out of order, uh, there is going to be a lot of backtracking to do. Because as you saw in my other X3 LPs, my original Super Nintendo one and the PlayStation one I did, yeah, doing all of this in order, in, in, in the regular boss order that I did in those versions of the, of the game, is better and more accurate and faster. Now, viewers, be very fucking careful with those things above, the things that are spewing shit, whatever the fuck that shit is. Now, if you happen to jump over to this thing right here, this conveyor belt, while that shit drops down, it will knock you down into the fucking spikes. However, <laughs> so take number three, baby. Just one more to go. We're at four, or four, I should say. Boink. I'll take that. Thank you, ma'am. Now that Bit and Bite have been taken care of, I don't have to worry about them popping up in the stage now. It's just going to be regular mini-bosses that are normally in these particular stages. Good! <laughs> Unfortunately, we got these bitches. Yeah, those those things that shoot those fucking um, drills and shit. Drill me, baby! Ow! <laughs> Bro, you are literally in my fucking way! MOVE! Ugh. I cannot stand those green things. Like, seriously, why are they even here? Oh, come on! Seriously? Whoa! Oh, shit! I didn't even see that there! Wow. Pay attention, bitch! <laughs> now, over here, there's an X, um, a Dr. Light capsule up above. The problem is, just like with the hard tank, we need the boss weapon needed to break that rock. As well as the X Buster upgrade. Ooh. Oh well, guess we'll have to come back! <laughs> yeah. Doing the regular X3 boss order that I did makes it a little bit faster to get through. But now we got more backtracking that we'll have to do in this version. Unfortunately, we're facing one of the most annoying mini bosses in the game now. And I'm not talking about the green roly poly bastard from Stink a Million stage in the first game. No, that bitch was, was tame compared to this fucker. Uh, it's annoying taking him on as X, probably just as so is with Zero. Ugh. Especially with no fucking energy in my sub tank. All right, viewers, I'm back. Whew. Finally took down that fucking mini boss after like two attempts. Had to restart the stage. Like literally, fucking annoying mini boss. Seriously. Like whoever designed that mini boss, I hope they got fired. <laughs> Seriously, cause that mini boss is ass. Literally. And I'm not saying that to be. You know, like, oh, it, your, your, um, your worksmanship is ass. No, I'm saying it's literally ass. It's stupid. God! At my full, my fill, eh, of these fucking, um, you know what? I'm so tired from that mini, uh, mini boss. Can't even fucking think right now. Move, dude! <laughs> Gravity well! Uh oh! <laughs> Move! I'll take your energy, though. Ah, thank you! Of course, now I need more. I need more. <laughs> oh, oh! Hurry up, hurry up! That was close. Alright, unfortunately, now I'm going to die. Well, it's, it pretty much has to be done at this point. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the death and recharge method here, because there's no way I'm winning against Tunnel Rhino with, with this setup. Hell no. And I have no energy in my sub tank, so just like with Neon Tiger, it's gonna be a close call. Be right back. Alright, viewers and Mac. <sighs> All charged up, but I have no energy. So let's see how I'm gonna deal with this. Here he comes! Drill me, Daddy! Are you sure about that? It's just time for a boss fight! Uh oh! Versus Tunnel Rhino! Uh oh! Shit! Slow down! You're hurting me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. Dude, it's like mega quick! Like, what's the rush? Slow down! We have all day! <laughs> Cocky bitch! Uh, I've been caught worse. Yoink! Uh oh! Uh! Uh! Yeah, every time he charges into the wall, he can knock you off of it. And then he has an invincibility period, like, like, um, Neon Tiger. So, you know. Oh, shit! <laughs> wow! Bye! Dude! Oh, that's some bullshit things. So yeah, they thought ahead with that. They said, okay, all I gotta do is just jump over his ass. It's pretty much simply that. Uh oh! Really, the fight, the start of the fight is the hardest, because he'll get to jump on you, like, right the fuck away. But this is just like the battle... Uh oh! It's just like the battle that I had with, with Bite. Just have to uh, time it right, and then jump over his ass. It's pretty much that, in a nutshell. No! Oh! Slow the fuck down! <laughs> ah! Yeah. Underestimate me, and I'm gonna drill you, bitch! Oh, shit! <laughs> Come on! Thumbs up. It's just the way it's shaped. <laughs> Whatever, dude. That being said, though, that was difficult. But for defeating Tunnel Rhino, we get the sexy tornado fang. Yes. With this, we can break down that wall that was in Neon Tiger stage. Now that I think about it, there was another wall inside the Blast Hornet stage, too, wasn't it? Yes, there was. Now, even though Zero cannot use X's armor upgrades, whenever you collect those Dr. Light capsules um, with Zero, X can still have them equipped on him, so when you switch into X, he'll have them equipped. So even though this is a Zero playthrough, I'll have to use X to get some of the upgrades. So, you know, it's a team effort. Alright, um, let's go back to Neon Tiger stage first, because I want to get that X armor upgrade. Or X Buster upgrade. Be right back. All right, viewers, we're back in the on Tiger stage. Now let's try the tornado fangs. Yoink! Go, my drills! Yes. Now, viewers, here's the sexy thing about the tornado drum, um, the tornado fang. You can fire one drill, right? 
Or you could do like how Tom Rhino did. Form three drills at the same time by tapping the attack button. So yeah, use one, tap, tap, tap. There you go. <laughs> That's the sexiness of that weapon. What's also sexy is getting this X armor upgrade. Hey, Dr. Lights Ghost. Enter this capsule, Zero. Take this Buster upgrade for X. The upgrade will increase the strength of X's charge shots. X will be able to shoot two charge shots at once. If timed correctly, the shots will overlap and create a single charge shot. The upgrade will also allow X to charge any special weapon. Cool! That's the best part of the upgrade. Not the X Buster upgrade itself, but actually being able to charge up your fucking special weapons. Yes. So yeah, unfortunately, Zero cannot charge up the special weapons. So, you know, I mean, come on, he's Zero. He can't do that, obviously. However, X can. Watch. Zero, I'm coming. I I I'm on my way. <laughs> but yeah, watch. Just like in the other X3 upgrades, Zero or X gets an extra um coloring to his, his charging. So yeah, when he glows red and purple, you can fire! Two charge shots at once. They seem faster in this version, too. Look. Look how fast it is. Because in the original X3, it was slow as shit. Wow, that is fucking interesting. Alright, um. Back to zero. I'm coming. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Alright, we got that, so let's fuck off. Alright, viewers of Mac. Now, back in Blaster on the stage. Remember these crates? Yoink! Get these bitches out the way. There you go. Now, before, we couldn't do anything about these cracked walls. The tornado thing, anything is possible. Double, triple tap that bitch. And some more. There you go, don't be shy. There you go. Oh, what's this? Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. Ah, bitch, there you go. We get the Chimera! Yes! Chimera Ride Armor? Get to those eggs. Alright, viewers, we're back in Blizzard Buffalo stage. One last time. Soak in the music once again, viewers, because it's so fucking beautiful. It, 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 it just does something to my nostalgia boner. It just makes it bigger. I'm sorry you had to hear that, but it's true. <laughs> Come on, who doesn't get a fucking nostalgia boner from listening to this sexy fucking classic SNES music? Come on now. Even the ladies in the audience, if you are, you know, if you are from my era that have played these classic X games back in the day, even you will get a fucking boner from this. I'm serious. Anyone has to. Now, you can use the Tornado Fang to break these ice blocks, or you can use the Chimera Armor or Ride Armor to break them. It really doesn't matter which you do. <laughs> However, whichever one you do use, you still need to be careful. If you decide to come down here to get that hard tank using the Tornado Fang, it's going to be difficult because you have to deal with not only breaking those cubes, but then you'll also have to deal with the ice spikes right there. So, yeah, it's not unlike how, how it was getting that heart tank in Dr. Easy Glow stage in X5. As X, that is. Well, as X, it was easy with the Nova strike and everything. But Zero was a fucking pain in the fucking hours. So, you know, there you go. Like, seriously, just fuck off! You're in the way! There you go. Oh, yeah, and two more ride armors. We're not done those yet, either. Well, we went out of sequence once again and took out Neon Tiger and Tunnel Rhino. Both bosses in which we did not have their weapon weaknesses. This is getting good. I wonder which one I'll go to next. Find out next time. You guys enjoy it, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for giving me bits for me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell so notified of my newest uploads. You got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment, duh. Till next time, dudes and dudettes, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming and Open Rage Breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smite you later.